Have you ever wondered why some people can push through their comfort zones while others remain stuck in their routines? This is a question that has puzzled many of us at one time or another. It's all about motivation. It's that invisible force that propels us forward, the urge to press on, even when the going gets tough. Consider the tale of a gym goer who, despite the odds, managed to shed a significant amount of weight. What was the secret ingredient? You guessed it, motivation. That spark ignited a flame within, driving the individual to push past the boundaries of their comfort zone, to sweat it out day after day, and ultimately to achieve their goal. The beauty of motivation is that it can be applied to every aspect of our lives, not just fitness. It's about setting your sights on a goal and relentlessly pursuing it, no matter the obstacles. Motivation, as it turns out, is the fuel that drives us to surpass our limitations. Consider this, a man named John was overweight, unhealthy and constantly tired, but one day something clicked. Our friend John was just like many of us, stuck in a cycle of unhealthy habits. He was a prisoner of his own lifestyle, trapped in a body that he felt didn't represent him at his best. He was constantly tired, struggled to climb stairs and found himself out of breath after the slightest exertion. He was overweight and it was affecting his health and well-being. But one day, something clicked. A switch flipped inside John and he decided to change. It wasn't a grand epiphany or a dramatic event that spurred him into action. He simply looked in the mirror and made a promise to himself that he would become the best version of himself. John's journey started small. He began by making minor adjustments to his diet, cutting out unhealthy snacks and replacing them with healthier alternatives. He started going for walks in the park, gradually increasing the distance and speed over time. It was a struggle every step of the way, but John was fueled by something powerful, motivation. Every day was a battle, a test of his willpower. There were days when he wanted to give up, when the comfort of his old habits beckoned him, but John was persistent. He reminded himself of his promise, of the vision he had for himself, and each day he chose to stick to his plan. Over time, the changes started to show. John was losing weight, his energy levels were increasing, and he was feeling healthier. He was getting stronger, both physically and mentally. His small victories fueled his motivation, and he pushed himself harder, setting new goals and crushing them one by one. John's transformation was not an overnight success. It was a journey paved with sweat, determination, and relentless pursuit. But it was worth every struggle, every sacrifice, because John had unleashed the power of motivation. John's transformation wasn't a miracle, it was the result of motivation and relentless pursuit. But what actually happens when we get motivated? What's the science behind it? You might have found yourself pondering over these questions at some point. Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of our minds to understand the science behind motivation. Motivation, at its core, is a psychological phenomenon. It's a force that drives us to take action, to strive, to achieve. It's a compelling desire to do something, whether it's lifting that last rep at the gym, sticking to a healthy diet, or just getting out of bed early in the morning. But how does this force manifest inside our brains? Let's take a closer look. Our brain, this incredible organ, houses a complex network of neurons that communicate through chemicals called neurotransmitters. One such neurotransmitter that plays a pivotal role in motivation is dopamine. You might have heard of dopamine as the feel-good neurotransmitter, and that's indeed one of its crucial functions. When we achieve a goal or even take a step towards it, our brain rewards us by releasing dopamine. This release creates a sense of pleasure and satisfaction, and guess what? We crave more of it. This craving, in turn, motivates us to repeat the actions that led to the dopamine release in the first place. So, in essence, when we're motivated to do something, it's because our brain anticipates the rewarding dopamine surge that will follow when we achieve our goal. This dopamine-driven feedback loop is a fundamental mechanism of motivation. It's what keeps us going, pushing our limits and striving for more. But here's the catch. Dopamine doesn't just spike when we reach our goals. It also increases when we're just thinking about them or when we're making progress towards them. This is why setting small, achievable goals along the way to a larger goal can keep us motivated. Each small success triggers a dopamine release, reinforcing our motivation to keep going. So motivation isn't just a mental state, 
it's a biochemical reaction that propels us forward. And understanding this science can empower us to harness our motivation more effectively, steering us towards our goals and aspirations. From the gym to the office, motivation plays a crucial role in all areas of our lives. Now imagine your typical day. You wake up, you may or may not want to get out of bed, but you do. Why? Because you're motivated by the thought of a new day, new opportunities, or maybe just a good cup of coffee. This is a simple example of how motivation works in our everyday life. It's not just about lifting heavier weights at the gym or running faster on the track. It's about the desire to do something, to act, to make progress. Think about the work you do. Whether you're an artist, a teacher, a scientist, or a fitness instructor, you need motivation to perform at your best, to innovate, to solve problems, and to continue learning. When you're motivated, you're more productive, you're more engaged, and you're more likely to achieve your goals. Now let's take this a bit further. Consider your relationships, the relationships you have with your family, your friends, your colleagues. These relationships require effort, understanding, and patience. And what fuels these? You guessed it, motivation. It's the motivation to spend quality time with your loved ones, to listen and understand their perspectives, to resolve conflicts and to build stronger bonds. And then there's the aspect of personal well-being. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, pursuing hobbies, learning new skills, all require a certain level of motivation. It's the drive that gets you to choose a salad over a burger, to pick up a book instead of scrolling through social media, to step outside your comfort zone and try something new. You see, motivation is like the invisible thread that links all aspects of our lives. It's the fuel that powers our actions, our decisions, our relationships and our personal growth. It's the spark that lights up our lives, pushing us to move forward, to strive for better, to overcome challenges and to find joy in the journey. Without motivation, even the simplest tasks can seem like mountains. So let's embrace the power of motivation and see how it can transform our everyday life. So how do we cultivate this powerful force called motivation? Well, let's dive right into it. First and foremost, setting clear attainable goals is a cornerstone of motivation. Imagine you're on a journey without a map. It would be pretty difficult to reach your destination, right? The same principle applies to motivation. It's tough to stay motivated if you don't know where you're headed. So set goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, or as we like to call them, smart goals. They are your map on this journey of motivation. Now that you have your destination in sight, it's time to celebrate the small victories along the way. Suppose you're training for a marathon. You wouldn't just wait until you've completed the whole 26 miles to celebrate, would you? Of course not. You'd celebrate each mile, each step that gets you closer to your goal. This celebration, this recognition of progress, no matter how small, fuels your motivation and keeps you moving forward. And let's not forget about the role of a positive mindset in cultivating motivation. It's easy to let setbacks or obstacles dampen your spirits, but remember, every cloud has a silver lining. Instead of focusing on the negative, shift your perspective to the positive. See every challenge as an opportunity for growth and learning. This positive mindset will not only help you stay motivated, but also foster resilience and determination. Just like a gardener carefully tends to his plants, providing them with the right amount of sunlight, water and nutrients, you too must tend to your motivation. Nurture it with clear goals, celebrate its growth with each small victory, and keep it thriving with a positive mindset. And remember, motivation isn't a one-time thing. It's not something you summon once and then forget about. It's a continuous process, a daily practice. Remember, motivation is like a muscle, the more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. So we've explored the power of motivation, the science behind it, its role in our lives, and how to cultivate it. But what's the key takeaway here? We've learned that motivation isn't just a fleeting feeling. It's a powerful force that can propel us towards our goals. It's the spark that ignites our desire to achieve, the fuel that drives us to push past our limits. It's an intrinsic part of us, rooted in our brains, our biology and our belief systems. We've also discovered that motivation is an integral part of our everyday lives, influencing our decisions and actions. It's not something that just happens to us, it's something we can actively cultivate and harness. Remember, motivation is more than just a tool for reaching our goals. It's a key component in improving our lives, 
enhancing our well-being and realizing our full potential. Motivation is the driving force that pushes us beyond our comfort zones and towards our goals, so find your motivation and see how far it can take you.